Okay, so welcome back everyone to Steps to Freedom. That's where we're joining tonight because we want to be free. And uh, hopefully the information tonight will provide, provide you with what you need to be free in some area of your life. The, Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And then Jesus called himself the truth. Um, so we're going to be talking about um, severe mental illness a little bit more in depth. And we're working from the book, Plan of Spirits. There it is, Plan of Spirits, written by Michael W. Smith. You can get it on Amazon if you don't have it. If you live in town, you can also pick it up from our bookstore if you're coming to, oh, we had to do a class. So I do this class on Zoom and I do an in-person class every Tuesday at the Arizona Deliverance Center. If you want to send me an email, it's steps to freedom, adc at gmail.com. And if you need something, the miracle list, or if you want to know how to get a copy of the book, just send me an email, okay? So last week we had a good discussion and tonight we're going to continue that discussion. The book, unfortunately, is not broken into chapters, but I kind of broke it down into chapters, so to speak. And we're on pages tonight. Do you guys all have the syllabus? I sent the syllabus out again. If you're new to us, send me an email and I'll send you the syllabus. I'll send you a weekly. Every weekly, I send out a link to this Zoom call. You can share it with your friends. It's, it's not private, but we have it kind of private tonight because we had an interruption in the beginning. <laughs> I feel so popular. People think I'm worth interrupting. That's kind of cool. <laughs> so we are definitely giving the devil a black eye tonight. Talking about um, severely mentally ill people and what it might look like. Okay. Um, before we get started, does anyone have um, any questions? Does anybody have any questions? You could just unmute or give me a wave. Anybody have any questions for me? Okay. All right. Well, we got Stephanie on tonight. We got Jen on. Uh, Kelly will join us later. And if you have any questions, you can put them in the chat. And we'll answer them the best we can. Okay, Patricia, did you get that link? She's got her hand up. Do you have a question, sister? Okay, maybe she's getting her question answered. All right, shall we get started? Shall we start? Okay. All right. Um, oh, somehow my PowerPoint went away. Let's put that up. See right there. Okay, great. Patricia, do you have a question? You got that link now? Are you good? All right. Okay, we're going to jump in here. Okay, we're going to start our lesson for tonight. Plano Spirits, week three. We're going to start off with a couple of announcements. All right. All righty. All right. Um, it's only in a couple of weeks. We prayed today. Lots of you joined me for prayer today. We prayed and, and we fasted today um, for this event for tonight's teaching, the women's conference, breaking free. It's really breaking free from curses and whatever is keeping you bound. Friday, October 18th at 4.30 p.m., we're gonna be meeting at some restaurant. It's TBA, 
We haven't announced it yet. It will, it will be coming through in an email. So if you're coming to this conference on Saturday, October 19th at the Arizona Deliverance Center, make sure you send me an email to register so that I can get you on the list of people who um, will be joining us for dinner. So I can give you the information so you can make your decision at least, okay? Please help us spread the word. Um, share this with a friend. You got the um, flyer in your email. Invite If everybody invites one person, I think we'll have a good turnout. All right, and thank you so much for your donations. I don't know what happened. The generous bug went out and bit everybody. Uh, last month was, I was the most blessed ever. So when I'm blessed, then I can bless others. And that's just awesome. So thank you for your donations. All right, we're talking about serious mental illness. That's what SMI stands for. Okay, so what is it? What is serious mental illness? It's a mental or behavioral or emotional condition that significantly impairs a person's ability to function in daily life. And off to the right, those are just some of them there are, this is a serious mental illness. Not all mental illnesses are considered serious. When the condition significantly impairs a person's ability to live their life, then that's when it crosses over from mental illness to serious mental illness or severe mental illness. So anxiety disorders are not all um serious mental illnesses but they can become they can become serious <laughs> um did disassociative identity uh, this dissociative disorders psychotic disorder mood disorders um personality disorders they are always smis um somatoform Disorders, not all of them. Sexual disorders, yeah, pretty much all of them are serious mental illnesses. Not all sleep disorders are. So that's a distinction. Yes. All right, and so here's just a view of some different ones. Anger, these are these are just some mental disorders, okay? Um, can anger can contribute greatly to me mental disorder. Um, <laughs> optimism, that's funny. I guess if you live in the clouds too much, then you could have a problem. <laughs> I'd rather err on the side of positivity than negativity, personally. <laughs> All right, so seducing spirits are the ones to blame. Now, it doesn't mean it's only seducing spirits that are involved in this, but but this is the root cause. They are seducing spirits in the brain are the root cause of almost all mental illnesses. Now, there are mental illnesses that are not caused by seducing spirits. Some are caused through injury. That's not a mental, that's not a, spiritual issue that's a injury issue um like a traumatic brain injury could uh or someone with say down syndrome possibly is not a um, met is not caused by the seducing spirits but more of a that's a he needs a healing definitely needs a healing in most cases. In the case of the SMI, the process is more complicated. So you have mental illnesses, say like depression, just generalized depression. And then you have mental, serious mental illnesses that are gonna be more complicated to treat, more extensive and more invasive. So tonight we're just focusing on the seriously mentally ill. In SMI, the patient is typically infected with spirits in childhood 
or through severe trauma. Anne grows to develop two personalities as mentioned in the Bible. So the trauma, severe trauma, or, or spirits could get into the womb, into the child when the baby's in the womb, or it could be an effect of witchcraft. James 1.8 says a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. Maybe you have some instability in some of your ways. You're double-minded in some instances. It doesn't mean that you have this spirit called the dipsychus, which means two souls. Just because a person is has trouble with deciding, just because a person wavers in their mind sometimes doesn't mean all the time, okay? Doesn't mean all the time. So make that distinction. Now you're gonna hear things tonight and you're gonna say, oh my gosh, I do that. Do I have a second soul? Um, not necessarily. <laughs> okay, a fake or an imposter soul. The spirits enter the brain of a human and create a fake or imposter soul in the inner man. This demonic soul attaches to the real soul and houses other spirits that develop personalities separate from the individual's, individual's God-given personality. So the demonic soul is developed from all these demonic spirits. That's what develops it, and it attaches to the real soul. You can't cast out the second soul. You have to dismantle it by casting out the spirits. All right, so we're talking about the real self versus the second soul. The real person becomes buried under these demonic personas. And so like in multiple personality disorder where the person has another personality or you hear the alters, okay? I, I, don't, I don't like it when people say, well, I, you know, I got to get the alter out. Well, you probably don't have a real alter personality. You just have a demon that manifests from time to time. It doesn't mean it's created a completely second soul inside of you. All right. Um, they can infect a person with very varying serious mental illnesses, very serious mental illness, causing a deliberating loss of reality or consciousness. So the person can actually blank out and that other personality, that other soul can come and take over. And that's pretty scary. We're going to go over what are some of the things that this individual might say when that second soul takes over. Um, I put this diagram up here that shows you the second soul can cause a person to lose their true identity or their true self. Down at the bottom, you see the little guy. That's the true self. This is from Pigs in the Parlor, Ida Mae Hammond. She got this revelation from the Lord one night in the middle of the night when he loves to speak and explain to her that these two major spirits, rejection and rebellion make up and a whole host of other spirits make up together the second soul. All right. So what are we talking about? Pseudo personality pseudo personality um you may hear this he acts and talks like a totally different person when he gets mad sometimes something comes over her and she is not herself anymore i don't know what happens to her she acts crazy these are some things that that you might here being said about the person who has a second soul. 
All right. Okay. Um, Stephanie, I got somebody, else. I've been admitting people. Somebody else needs to admit them. We have a David on there. Don't want to admit him. Steph, uh, Steph, uh, Julie. Julie, Julie, can you put that picture back of the two hands? I just want to snap a picture of it. Absolutely. Just for, Absolutely. Yeah, it'll take me a second. Sure. Thank you. There you go. Oh. If you got look, it. Got it. If, you, if you want to find it online, this is, um, if you look up the hand chart by Pigs in the Parlor, you'll okay. find lots of um, pictures of this, but yeah, you're welcome. And so I'll just go over this one briefly. So on one side, on the left hand, you have rejection on the middle finger. And on the right hand, you have rebellion. Those are the two like kingpins, if you will. Those are the two monsters that have all these other spirits traveling with them, so to speak. And they together make up the second soul. It's not like the rejection spirit creates a soul and the rebellion spirit creates its own soul. It's the rejection and the rebellion together create the second soul. Okay. All right. Let me just check on... Um, all right, so that's how that is. And then you see all those other words, all those other spirits, fear of rejection, self-rejection, um, lust, fantasy lust, harlotry, like those are all separate spirits. And they make up, they can make up that second soul. Now, you might say, oh my gosh, I deal with all of those different spirits. <laughs> okay, well, that doesn't mean you have schizophrenia or a serious mental illness, so to speak. However, you might. Um, but I think most people could say from time to time or at some point in their life, they've struggled with some of those things. But when you have them all working together and working off of each other, that's when the person has a real storm in their mind and they have a severe, serious mental illness. And we see that in people with bipolar disorder. We see the same spirits in operation with someone with DID, um, dissociative identity disorder or schizoaffective or bipolar. I said that already. Um, these different psychotic disorders, um, borderline personality disorder, the different personality disorders, narcissism. You can see all of that. All right. All right. So again, the pseudo personality um, is going to, I, I used to work in a high school and one of the students, he told me that he got into a fight with a guy and he blanked out. And when he woke up, like they were standing, they were in a fight. And when he woke up, he was on top of the guy um, using both fists, punching his face and blood everywhere. And he didn't remember how he got there. And so it was the spirit, possibly the pseudo personality that took over, pushed him out of the way, out of his consciousness and took over. Could have been a second soul. Could have been a second soul. All right. Um, all right, some more phrases that you might hear being said about a person who has a second soul. She just won't listen to anything half of the time. He acts like he's lost his mind. His eyes change. Have you ever seen someone's eyes change? How about ever seen someone's eyes change color? It's freaky. Um, he looks like another person sometimes. Yeah, that spirit, that second soul can make that person's face completely change. 
and they don't even really look like themselves. Or you might hear someone say, oh, you've, you've come back to yourself now. Now, it could be an alternate personality. It could be just a momentary where that demon is taken over. But these are some of the phrases that you might hear. Okay. You might say to yourself, what's wrong with me? I'm not acting like myself. Why did I say that? That's not me. It's like some other voice came out of me. Yeah, that could be an indication of a second soul. Um, all right, what about this? I don't remember what I did or what I, did I say that? I said that? Oh my gosh. What was I thinking? I blacked out. Am I losing my mind? Yeah, these are some of the things. If you hear someone say these things often, chances are they have a second soul. They have a second soul. All right. Here's some more things you might hear. I didn't do that, did I? I don't believe what I just said. I wouldn't have done that. I would have remembered. I did not say that. I don't remember any of it. It seems like I am talking to another person. Yeah, because you are. <laughs> You are talking to another person. It can be scary. All right. Oh, we're going quite quickly through this. The person may attempt to correct the problem through psychotherapy, counseling, self-help books, motivational tapes, or medication. Unfortunately, they never actually cure the problem. They never actually cure the problem. Okay, we got a question. I'll take a break. Okay. Doris, do you have a question or something? Yeah, I do. So this second soul, does it mean that they have periods of, t is it like all the time they have these periods where they just totally don't remember? Because like when I was going through some very traumatic stuff in my marriage, there were some things I'm like, I can't believe I said that or did that. But I remember, you know, I I didn't have any periods where I blanked out. I mean, I believe that those demons have come out, but uh, uh, but so but these people that have a second soul, is it they have periods where it, it's like totally gone from their mind? Is that it? I I'm not. Quite understanding. So keep in mind the the seriously mentally ill is a significant disruption in your personal daily life. Okay. Like someone with borderline personality disorder, they can go from happy to sad to mad all in the same day, but but a very extreme form of. So there, um, it's not a mild case of, oh, I don't remember that. Jeez, what did I say? What did I, what did I come into this room for? It's not like that. Um, we all could attest to that happening, right? It's more like another personality. It's, a, it's like a multiple personality. But then you're going to see like that hand chart, you're going to see those other spirits manifesting a root of bitterness. They're going to have a strong rejection spirit. They're going to um, be very insecure and then also prideful at the same time. And so, the, so it's not like they have five on each hand spirits. No, they have all of them. They have all of them. And so you know, most people need, they need help. They've gone for um, emotional or psychological help. By the yeah. time my second soul is now taking over. 
Okay. That. Which may have been your case. Okay. And so as you dismantle, uh oh, did Stephanie get booted? Okay. As they're as as you dismantle those spirits and you the real self comes up. And that's really who you are. Because they kind of shadow over the real self. Does that make sense? I think it does. Just um like so like Norman Bates on Psycho. He has Yeah. Well, I watched that when I was a kid. I don't watch stuff like that anymore, but um but he like he was Norman Bates, but he was his mom or whatever. Like it, they it was clearly two very distinct people in that same person. Right. And so look what it said about severely mentally ill or seriously mentally ill. They have it, they were infected with spirits in childhood through severe trauma. He was severely traumatized by his mother. His overbearing mother, if I remember correctly. I think so. I mean, it was decades yeah. ago that I saw that movie. So. <laughs> yeah. And so, and that second soul or that multiple personality form, like, and it was his mother, right? That's mm -hmm. who would come forth and talk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they, how, do, how does this begin? A lot of times it begins, it, the trauma is so severe that the child has to disassociate or they, they disassociate from reality to survive. Um, I read a story about a young woman who was captive. Um, she was being used as a sex slave and there was a little, she was in the basement and there was a little window a pie and she said she would just focus she would see a tree and its leaves moving and while the abuse was happening she would just pretend she was a bird she was outside on that tree branch and that's how she handled the the, the emotional and physical trauma of her abuser she she separated herself And so that person, I'm sure, developed a second soul who was out there free as a bird. Now, it, it doesn't always happen that the, pers the person can become mentally, severely mentally ill and they didn't suffer trauma. Um, but if you don't have a mental illness, then you certainly don't have a second soul. Okay. That, that I asked Brother Mike on this week. I was like, can you have a second soul if you're not, if you haven't been diagnosed? Um, at this point in our lives, if the thing has probably, you know, has developed, has grown so far that without help, your life has been ruined. Or, um, yeah significantly impaired and so then you're going to seek help if you don't know about deliverance right you seek help and then we end up with a diagnosis and then we end up taking meds or whatever because we're like what's wrong with me something's wrong with me i i'm acting not myself i'm i can't i can't stop crying or i can't get out of bed or i i lost my job because i just can't do it well that type of condition is going to lead a person to a doctor. And that's why, um, that's, that's, that's a clear indication that someone, you know, when it has debilitated them, that it's possible they have a second soul, but not always, not always. So you can have a mental illness, but not a second soul, but you can't be without a mental illness and have a second soul. Does that make sense? I hope so. All right, any other questions before I go back? Okay. I don't have much to go. This is going by faster than I thought. <laughs> All right. All 
All right. So yeah, so people attempt to get better, right? They know there's something wrong. And so they attempt all these different things to correct the problem. Psychotherapy and counseling, self-help books, motivational tapes, medication. Unfortunately, they don't ever work. Not for very long anyway. And then here's some other things that people um, go to, to try to, even, even if, you know, even if your life isn't completely ruined, you're just, your life isn't going well. This thing it has taken over and you're like, I need help. I need to, they're constantly searching for relief and try multiple methods of treatment to improve their condition, like healing oils, hypnosis, positive thinking tapes, increased church attendance, Bible studies, retreats, seminars, boot camps, prayer meetings, diet modification, cleansing routines, mentoring programs, exercise, love, romance, marriage, holistic uh, methods. Unfortunately, nothing works. Read this. Nothing seems to work on a permanent basis. The person frequently relapses and exhaustion and frustration. And so I want you to think about this. Have you, I'll go back. Did you find yourself here? Oh, no, not there. Hmm? Oh, no. Did you find yourself in this place where you are constantly in search of relief? A lot of people who get into the new age, this is how it happens. They are in a constantly search, they're constantly searching for relief. And so they try different things, healing oils, hypnosis, the positive thinking tapes. They try different diet modifications, cleansing routines. They're convinced they have some parasite in their body. So they go through all this cleansing and fasting and so you're just always trying something. Now, I'm not going to say like increased church attendance. It's not that it's bad. That's good. Bible studies is good. Retreats and seminars, you know, prayer groups. Changing your diet could certainly be helpful, but it's not going to cure you. It's not going to... It may improve your condition for a time, but it's not going to solve the problem. Certainly not getting married. That certainly won't solve the problem. <laughs> so, all right. So then, um, like I said, this went a lot faster than I thought. Okay. All right. Am I back? Let's see. So, so, this, so we're going through the book. Plan of spirit slowly, right? And this part, he's just talking about the seriously mentally ill. Now, there are some people I know on here who have a diagnosis of serious mental illness or SMI. There are some people on here that you're thinking, man, if I went to a doctor, I'd probably be diagnosed with fill in the blank. Um, that's okay because the solution is always the same. And his name is Jesus, right? Um, it doesn't matter how far along. It doesn't matter how long you've been this way. It, it, it doesn't matter what is going on in your life, okay? It doesn't matter if you had an episode yesterday. The solution is still the same. And his name is Jesus. And so there's some of you really struggling right now. You think maybe you have a mental illness or a serious mental illness. Number one thing I hear Mike talk about is the miracle list. If you haven't done the miracle list yet, you need to. It's time. There are some people on here that you have the miracle list, but you haven't touched it. You read it over. You started on number one. You made a good effort at getting a notebook. And you even promised yourself, I'm going to do it. Oh yeah, I gotta get back to that. 
oh yeah, the miracle list, I got to do that thing. But your situation's getting worse. You keep having episodes of random manifestations. You have these spirits manifesting out of you and they're significantly disrupting your life. You may not be diagnosed with a mental illness, but if anyone heard you manifesting, they might call. They might make the phone call and have you committed. So don't play around with this, okay? Don't play around with your deliverance. If you haven't done the miracle list, do it. If you're struggling with negative thoughts, and that's the biggest one, I think, for most of us, is what's your thinking like? Just before I got on the call, I had a thought coming in that was not positive. It might be true, but it's not positive. And I'm like, no, no, not going to even think about that. My hope is in the Lord. He can change man's heart. He is my shepherd. He's the one guiding me on paths of righteousness. I don't care what that thought is that's coming in. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm going to reflect on God's word to help my mind get back on track. And so some of you have a hundred thoughts a day coming in. The average person, you know, you might have 10, 10 negative thoughts, five negative thoughts roaming around in your brain from time to time. But the person with mental illness has 100, 200 negative thoughts coming all at once. And it is debilitating. And you can't solve any of those. You have to go to the problem solver. You have to go to the miracle worker. You have to stop depending on yourself and depending on others. And you have to start depending on the Lord. And that his word is true for your life. The years are ticking by and you know it. The weeks, the days, the weeks, the months, the years. Some of you have been going through this two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten years. What got now you're frustrated with the Lord because you're like, why aren't I better? I keep kicking these spirits out. I keep burping them out and coughing them out and crying them out. But then I have another round. Well, you got to ask yourself, have you done the miracle list? <laughs> so simple. <laughs> Do you have unforgiveness towards anyone? What are you thinking about? Are you thinking on God's word? Are you thinking on things that are lovely and true and profitable? Or are you worrying? Are you thinking about that thing that may or may not happen? Yeah. And sometimes you got to get aggressive. No, stop. I'm not going to think about that. Stop it. Shut up. Leave in Jesus name. The Lord is my shepherd. That is my, right? Yeah. God is the strength of my heart. You are not the strength of my heart. Figuring it out is not the strength of the, my heart. And you know what? You can always say, I don't know the answer, but the Lord does. And he's going to tell me when I need it. I don't know the answer. I don't know what's going to happen. I know what I'd like to happen. I, I know what I'd like to see happen. And in the time frame in which I'd like to see it happen, but I don't know any of that. So I'm going to leave it up to the Lord. And you know, your blood pressure comes down. <laughs> right? <clears throat> How come I'm not delivered? How come I'm not healed? How come my marriage is not restored? How come my ki kids are not off drugs? How come this and how come that? No, nope. that's the enemy. He's coaching you to say and think all those things. You have to grab your scriptures. What are they? You got to have a handful of them. You don't have to know the whole Bible. You just need a few, three, four, five of them. Okay. That's all you need. That's all you need. You only need a few scriptures to fight back with. Only a few. 
only a few. So. So I'm going to pick on somebody. Marissa. Hi, Marissa. I'm glad you're on tonight. You want to turn on your camera? There she is. Hi. Hi. How are you? I am okay. I'm okay. alive. I'm glad you're on tonight. Nice yes. to see you. Glad to be here. Yes. Okay. So, negative thoughts, right? They come in like a freight train. And so, what are your scriptures that you fight with? I will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. Good. That's one of them. That's one of them. Um, my peace I leave with you, my peace I give you, not as the world gives do I give to you. That's okay. one that my mind. That's a good one. That's a really good one. What um is there is there a time when you can tell us where you started using those scriptures and everything calmed down? Um, it's definitely like using it as a weapon. Like, if I hear a demon threaten me, then I'll say, I will live and not die because it works for the Lord. And so that's a way to do it. <laughs> um, when was the last time you did that? Um, Maybe a couple of days ago or so. Um, Yeah, so it just, I don't know, it just kind of comes and goes. Okay, good. That's good. I wanted you to testify about what's working. Mm. Ah, what is working? Um, worshiping and just trusting God and just enduring through it and just trusting that he loves me and that he's going to get me through it. That's right. That's right. And it's one, one moment at a time, right? Sometimes. Yeah. And yeah, praying for the people that hurt you, I think is a really good way to kind of combat any negative feelings you have towards someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. All right. Well, that's good. Keep working on the miracle list. Thank you. I'm, I'm trying. I need to try harder, though. Mm -hmm. It's yeah those distractions come in when you start trying to work on that it's yeah yeah if you might want to look at distractions as people without bodies that are keeping you from doing what's going to help you get free yeah or people just start calling you or coming in and yeah it's real that's real that's right mm -hmm. yeah this is, if you really focus, and I say this to everyone, if you focus in on this season of your life, it'll go by faster, and then you'll be on the other side of it. And then the next thing you know, you'll be helping others. Amen. That's where I want to be. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, it's good. All right. Well, I just wanted to say hi. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. Did you have any questions at all? Um. Hmm. Not any that I can think of at the moment, but just pray for healing in my throat and esophagus. That's really what I'm concerned the most about. So I stopped taking my prescription medicine and then now I just started taking it again. So hopefully it will start feeling better. Yeah, I hope it does feel better. And um, I'll pray for you right now. I have, I have prayed for you. Yeah. I believe God is going to heal you. And, and I know it's hard to be on the medication right now because you don't want to be on it. I get that. Um, yeah. And then the enemy comes in with some guilt about taking medication. And 
maybe you don't have enough faith or trying to guilt yeah. you. Yeah. 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 So, so that's all a lie. The Lord has a perfect timing. And, you know, our bodies sometimes need these medications to get through a season. And you're actively pursuing the Lord. And so you'll know when it's time and you'll work with your doctor. Because you don't want to harm yourself mm -hmm. physically. And right. that GERD can cause a lot of harm to the esophagus. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let me pray for you. Okay. Um, Thank you. We're all going to be in agreement. And there are. Um, oh, I don't know how many. 45 of us here. Or maybe more. I can't tell how many we have. 52. All right. 51 of us are going to agree in prayer for Marissa for her healing. Thank All you right, so Heavenly, much. You're welcome. Heavenly Father, we lift up Marissa to you, Lord. Gosh, Lord, you saved her out of darkness and you brought her into your glorious light. Lord, you literally rescued her. And now she sits in the palm of your hands. Lord, I pray that you would give her a fresh revelation of how much you do love her. That you would give her a fresh revelation of how secure she is in you. To help her, Lord, every time the enemy comes to condemn and accuse and beat her up, Lord, that she would just run under your wing. Lord, when our body hurts and our mind is racing, Lord, that she would run to you, God, and she would take a nice deep breath and say, I am safe. I'm in the shelter of his wing. I'm, he is my strong tower. He is my protector. I'm not going to be afraid. I'm not going to think about the future and worry about what I don't have and what I want, but I'm going to trust the Lord with all of my heart. And lean not on my own understanding, but in all my ways, acknowledge him. In everything I do, acknowledge the Lord, and he will direct my path. Lord, I pray that your healing power would flow to Marissa in her throat. That your healing power would flow to her stomach. That her entire digestive system, Father God, the acid from her stomach is causing erosion it's causing pain it's causing discomfort it's taking away her appetite and so lord god i pray that you would intervene now in the name of jesus that you would heal her lord because you are the healer and you love her and you want her to be healed so lord we together collectively we're like the the friends at the top of the roof that lowered their friend down to Jesus. We collectively lift Marissa up to you, Lord. When we ask you to work upon, work on half of her life, Lord, to heal her, Lord. Heal her heart. Heal her neck. Heal her esophagus. Heal her stomach. Lord. Heal her mind. Open doors for her, Lord, that no man can shut. Open them wide, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. I pray, Father, that you bring people into her life who are good for her, who are wise, who will give her wise counsel, Lord. Bless her, Father God. Bless her, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank amen. you so much. Thank amen. You. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you guys for praying. God bless you guys. Thank you for what you're doing and how many people you're helping. All right. Talk to you later. All right. All right. Um, hey, Jen.
Where are you at? Jen, would you like to um, share anything from your experience in doing deliverance with so many people over the last couple of years? Um, maybe some wisdom you've gleaned from working with people with mental illness? Mm -hmm. Well, I think, I think it's handled differently than from a general deliverance. Like, an, you know, just like an everyday appointment that comes in. It's a little bit more strategic in that you have to dismantle a lot of the things that are going on with the person. So, you know, how you teach about the strongholds. So that's kind of what we attack in equal. So when a person would come in for deliverance, normally we pray with them, we cast the spirits out and we sort of, we give them the miracle list and we kind of, they're kind of left on their own to, to join the groups and come to the services, but to tear down those strongholds on their own. I feel like with the, the SMIs that come in, it's more about working on the strongholds um, and then getting the spirits out. So everybody's a little different, but, but dismantling lies is a big one. Coming out of agreement with things that aren't true. And a lot of times um, the person doesn't know that it's it's in agreement with lies. And it's actually kind of in fellowship with the demons. So Trying to talk to the person and teach them about how these spirits operate is pretty significant because the most of the work is going to be done by that person on their time alone at home, you know, in their prayer time. So it's a little different than just, you know, a person that might come in with a lust demon or, you know, an alcohol spirit or something like that. I mean, those are just as important, but I feel like it's more, it's a lot more with the mental illness. And it has to be handled with more, I think, more hands-on and and in the in the stronghold area. Mm -hmm. Does that does that make sense? Yeah. Well, what are what are some of the um, the tips that you give them? This is how the spirits are working. Well, negative thoughts. I mean, that's the biggest red flag. If you're getting bombarded all the time with, you know, thoughts that are negative. Uh, clearly you have spirits in your brain. But um, I think for me personally, when I work with people, it's first we start with catching the thoughts. Are they even able to identify uh, what's demonic? Because if they can't separate their own thoughts from the enemy's thoughts, then um, then you're really up a creek. You know, you gotta, you gotta really help them to understand what these things are doing and saying. So a lot of times I'll have them document the stuff that they catch every day kind of like the miracle list, yeah. but instead of doing it one time, I, I have them do it daily and then I have them bring it in and we go over each one of them. We talk about why that's a lie and counter it with the truth and have them repent for it. And it's like one lie at a time. So um, for, for the SMIs like schizophrenia, especially that would be, that would be a big thing is identifying the lies and coming out of agreement with them one by one. And there's a lot and they're very powerful. And the person doesn't know sometimes that they're even listening to demons. So if you can get them, you know, that's, that's important. That's huge. Cause if they can't stop catching those or they can't start catching the thoughts, then we really can't get very far. So. Right. Yeah. Right. Is there any other obstacle that you've noticed in the work that you've been doing to getting the people to recognize the negative thoughts? Oh, obstacles. Well, yeah, there's people that just won't do the work. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think a lot of times the enemy uh, will dissuade and, and manipulate people's emotions. So, you know, they'll steal away any desire to do the work or, you know, kind of they'll cause complacency and and passivity, which is huge, a big, a big problem if the person's kind of passive and and they don't hate their demons or they don't even recognize that they have them. And that's an obstacle. Yeah. So uh, I had one guy, it, it was a while ago, but he came in and he had about 10 that he could identify different ones. They all spoke to him, but they were like comedians. So he, they would laugh. He, they would make him laugh all the time. And so I think I saw him three or maybe three times. And I would tell him, I'm like, you know, you've got to, you, you can't be friends with your demons. I mean, they're never going to leave. It, he would we we would just be sitting there talking and he'd start cracking up and I'd be like oh my gosh what are they saying now and he would just be rolling you know and I'm like 
until you can turn. And I told him they're going to turn on you. This relationship isn't going to last. And sure enough, he came back in and they were just tormenting him. They weren't being funny anymore, but he had just, you know, he had dug that stronghold so deep that it was hard. So last, I think, um, I think you saw him the last time he ever came in. So, uh, but that was a, that was a challenge because he, he was friendly with these things. They had a rapport, they had a friendship. And so if that's going on, you know, you're not going to get any deliverance. So you really got to take a stand against the enemy and, and really hate him. And trying to get people to hate their demons sometimes when they're that mentally ill is is hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What benefits do you notice people get from these spirits? Well, like that guy was always, you know, laughing. You know, uh, some of them that I've noticed, uh, if they have, you know, if they're getting any pleasure from these things, if there's any benefit, if there's sort of like a a payoff from anything that these things do. So sometimes if if probably an insecure person that's been very rejected, if these demons lie to them, there's, I mean, demons aren't always going to be mean, you know, sometimes they give you lies that are positive sort of, right? And they inflate yourself or your ego and things like that. So I would have to say if you're getting any benefits and you're fond of these things, then that's an obstacle. Um, but everybody's different, you know, and it's just it's all, it's all the Lord. And it's how much, it's how much the person, that's another one. If the person is willing to fight, if they're willing to invest the time with the Lord that they need to, and the, and the time in prayer, and they're really angry at these things and they're going to get delivered from them. But try sometimes trying to even get them that to that point is, is challenging. Yeah. I see yeah. that. Yeah. Um, I think I asked you this question, but what about, what about praying in tongues? How significant is that? So that's a big one that brother Mike kind of taught me. Um, the war tongues, we would have, we would take people into the sanctuary and have them march back and forth praying in the war tongues and it works. Uh, there are some people that just get delivered doing that. So it's a powerful weapon. It's a tool. It's a powerful tool, but the problem is sometimes the enemy would get into that gifting. And so it would scare the person. I've seen that. I've seen that um, many times where they start, the demons will tell them, well, that's not genuine. It's a demonic tongue. Don't, you know, and so they stop praying. So it's kind of, it's interesting watching how these things work and operate. They're really smart. You know, they really flip the script and they deceive and, you know, they'll, they'll have somebody completely, um, completely snowed at times and the person can't see it what they're doing a lot of like mind games and stuff like that but the war tongues is great if the per person can keep it up i think that that is a powerful tool that is is hugely underrated because i think a lot of people just don't do it enough and uh if they would do it more i think they would see a lot more progress quicker yeah, yeah. Okay, one last one last one. What about mm -hmm. um like religious legalistic spirits using mm -hmm. the scripture? The religious spirits are my favorite. <laughs> no, I don't know. They um they will twist a lot. Those things are hard because uh it's very hard for the person to tell they even have them. Um and it's hard to get a person to come out of agreement with them because a lot of times those spirits, they take a lot of truth. They'll give you 95% truth and then twist it with a 5%, you know, lies. So that they're very strong. And what I've noticed is too, through, you know, my own ministry that I've done is a lot of times those spirits will come. So they'll come in, a person will come in that they were highly involved in witchcraft or satanic worship or new age or the occult. And they get loaded up with these familiar spirits doing that. Well, these spirits, when this person gets born again, they come right along with the person. So they they're, they have all these spirits that kind of uh, get converted at the same time. So they start manufacturing a lot of religious experiences, legalism, like the Hebrew root stuff that I've run into that, you know, a lot where person thinks if they don't use the, the uh, Hebrew names of God and Jesus, they're going to go to hell. Like people right. terrified they will go to hell if they if they don't use Yeshua or you know Yahweh or what all those other names. So 
uh, the problem is that they really embed in the person and it's hard for the person to uh, see that they're they're deceived. So those are those are pretty strong demons, I think. But um, if the person can recognize it, I think they get delivered. But yeah, yeah, that's good. That's a good yeah. point. I I noticed the um, they'll take scripture and kind of misapply it. <laughs> yeah, or use it they'll as a take, weapon. They'll beat people yeah. over the head with it. Yeah. They'll justify bad behavior. Look, it's scriptural, you know, and abuse people with it. So yeah, or or use the scripture to abuse them when they're not even having bad behavior. Mm -hmm. They convince them their behavior is bad. Yeah, and um, you know, oh, you're you sinned, therefore now you're not abiding in Christ. Now you're in danger of hellfire. Yeah. Yep. Or if you sin one time, you're cut from the vine. Exactly. You've lost your salvation. And then people get hopeless, right? It's all to steal the hope of the person. Oh, you're beyond, you can't, you know, you're never going to make it. So yeah, they do twist the scripture. And a lot of times it's the scripture, like what the scripture says is what it says. And it sounds right. That's why it's so deceiving. So that's why you've got all these cults, you know, Seventh-day Adventists and Mormonism and Catholicism, because they've just taken scripture and applied totally different meanings to it. So they're pretty strong spirits for sure, but they're the same spirits, right? That are behind witchcraft. They're the same spirits. So uh, I think a lot of people don't realize that, that you're, you know, you've got your, your Baptist preacher over here who's loaded with religious spirits. They're the same spirits that are in, in the witch down the street. They, they can change, they can morph, right? So yeah, they're, they're, they're tricky. They're smart. Those, those demons. So yeah, it's, it is. It's a, so it's important for us to know the word and know the context in which it's speaking. Really, yeah. really important. Right. You can take part of the scripture and it says, oh, um, I'm not abiding in the vine. Okay, what does that mean? And if you don't bear fruit, then you're cut off. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say cut off. It just says you'll be removed or something. And then mm -hmm. if you are bearing fruit, then you'll be pruned. And then it's it kind of like if you think about a vine and, well, how do you prune a vine? You cut it. And how do you remove branches? You cut them. Okay, so, so which is what? <laughs> it gets confusing. But if you yeah. don't have the whole message of Christ as your foundation, then you can get confused and you can get kind of mono view of these scriptures. And That's lose true. Sight the truth. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So not that we should be sinning. Of course not. Um, we try not to. And when we do sin, right, John said, if, if anyone does sin, well, we have, we have repentance mm -hmm. and there's forgiveness. Right. So, um, yeah. One thing yeah. I would say though, like with people that come in who are mentally ill is that, uh, I think a lot of people don't realize is that a lot of these spirits get let in through drug abuse. So I, I'm hitting this a lot. So when a person tells me they're hearing voices, I ask them, were you a meth user? And I would say like 99% of them were. So that's a big open door for people. I don't think that it's really understood that drugs are a really powerful open door, even marijuana. So, and if you have that perfect storm of spirits, you know, you were highly rejected and then you went into rebellion and then you practice some witchcraft and did a lot of meth. You're that's a <laughs> yikes. You're in trouble. So I think yeah. there's a lot of things we can do to, to not, let these demons in too of course some of them come down the family tree of that we know that but there's a lot of times that i think that people are um kind of complicit with letting them in and they're not realizing it so yeah yeah i agree with you you probably see that a lot too yeah i have yeah yeah the marijuana use i thought that was fascinating years ago when they they did a study and found that marijuana use and onset of schizophrenia was correlated yes right you're right yeah and so yeah. now it's so easy to do marijuana 
you can smoke it, you can suck yeah. on a gummy, That's you can true. vape it, yeah. <laughs> you can rub it on your body and mm -hmm. eat it with your food. I know it's bad. It's so accessible, yeah, it's but it is a huge open door big time. So, and once those spirits come in, they're not, you know, there's like, I think, you know, you got your super powered demons and your average, you know, the smaller ones. Right. So I think what, when you let those super powered ones in or however they get in, those mental illness demons are pretty strong. So it's going to take a lot of work, you know, um, right. They're not just going to be blown out on a Saturday afternoon. If you come in on a one-on-one, -on -one. usually it's going to take some more work than that. You're going to really have to repent and, and try to realign your thinking with the word. And, and uh, so it's, it's a different level for sure. And I'll say this lastly, um, you know, if you can live with the demons, you get to keep them. Yeah, for sure. If you can live with it, if it's not interrupting your life, really, you're not going to fight them. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to keep it. You're going to keep them. Um, I never met a person who didn't have, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't see spirits. So I see manifestations of bad behavior. But, you know, I'm, I'm not with anyone 24-7. So I don't mm -hmm. know. And rarely are we, unless we're married to that person. And even then, you're not with the person 24-7 child, maybe. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's the fat flesh, and then there's spirits. And a lot of times, as we're going through this process, I think people can get confused. They're, they do all this deliverance, but they're not crucifying the flesh. They're not sanctifying themselves they're not setting themselves apart mm -hmm. and and not everything that like I was talking about uh I met a person a few months ago very nice person doing good things but he was worldly he was a Christian but he worldly mm -hmm. you know he was in he had a football camp and he ran he was a teacher he you know volunteered he helped his mom he you know, did a lot of things and that was all good. Um, and they're good things. And and some of them are godly things, but his focus was on, you know, football and getting the kids into the football camp and an advertisement. And, you know, he was building a business and okay, there's nothing wrong with that, but it was like, he has rejections. I could see it. He had rejection spirits in there, people pleasing, but, um, he was okay with them because it actually drove him to be a better business owner. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it drove him to work overtime and do extra and, and whatever. So he was happy, you know, he liked the benefits. So mm -hmm. he wanted to keep them. Yep. You know, Here's they one for the benefits. Here's one for you. Here's a benefit. So some of you guys know that um, I was not, I was not brought up by my biological mother. But she's SMI. And when she would go, she's bipolar, like a bad one. So when she would go into her manic phases, she would write novels, like bestsellers. She would finish them in three or four days. She wouldn't even sleep. But I remember that she told me and, and my half-sister at one point that she felt like when she would write these books, she wouldn't even remember. So she'd finish the book, and she felt like she had channeled something. Like, she wouldn't even remember uh, writing it, right? It would just be done. So now I know exactly what was going on with her, right? But it was mental illness. <laughs> so that's a benefit, right? She's yeah. pumping out, you know, she's pumping out all these books, making a few million a year. That's a benefit from those demons. So once she did medicate and she medicated her demons because she never got delivered, of course, that that uh, creativeness or whatever dried up yeah. is completely gone. So, wow. Yeah. So that would be really so, hard. So your mother was a bestseller author. Yeah. And then she also writes screenplays for a soap opera. Yes. Two, yeah. I think day, uh, Days of Our Lives, I think, and As the World Turned, she was their head writer. But so all of this was going on because of the demons in her, though. So that would be if somebody came to her and probably said, hey, you need deliverance. Everything is coming from those spirits. I don't know that she would have let that go. You know, it's a benefit. It's making her a lot of money. <laughs> 
but you know there's artists that you know a lot of artists were bipolar uh, or schizophrenic a lot of actors musicians so there are benefits to some of these superpower demons for sure i can't i can't remember the specifics there is a woman uh she couldn't draw now she's an adult she had no artistic ability and she started going to these prophetic charismatic churches and then she got a download from heaven and started painting these beautiful large murals <laughs> no <Nope. laughs> oh her artistic ability just bloomed right yeah, you gotta be careful. I'm sure you know the Lord does bless us, right? But they're those those talents for his are for his glory. You know, my mom was writing, you know, romance novels, so that wasn't from God, right? So yeah, yeah, but that's just an interesting twist on what kind of benefits you can get. I mean, most of the time we think of benefits from demons like, well, you know, you got a high sex drive or something like that. Sure. But yeah. yeah, there's other benefits too, right? So it's interesting for sure yeah yeah uh but there's always a price to pay there's always a price to pay always demons mm -hmm. never give you something for free not like jesus mm -hmm. he gives for free right but those demons they they always want payment yeah so, they want your soul they want your mind yeah that's gonna right. take you to hell yeah that's right <laughs> jen you want to start us off in prayer you want to lead us into prayer and deliverance tonight sure thanks okay all right heavenly father we just come before you and we're so grateful lord god for all that you're doing for us in the name of jesus we just thank you lord for all the deliverance lord all the healing that you're bringing each and every sister here lord we thank you for this journey lord through deliverance and learning to walk closely with you, Lord, learning to come into alignment with your will, Lord. And we're just thanking you right now for the mighty work that you're going to do tonight, Lord. We come before you, Lord, with hearts to repent, Father. We're so sorry, Father God, for all these lies that we've come into agreement with. Our whole lives, Lord, we've listened to rejection and fear, self-hatred, We've carried grudges. We've disrespected our parents and our spouses, Lord. We just ask you, Lord, for forgiveness. I'm so sorry, Lord, that I hurt you. I'm so sorry, Lord, that I listened to the enemy. I'm so sorry, Lord, that I didn't turn to you and give my burdens to you. But I tried to work it all out for myself. I'm so sorry, Lord, that I've carry bitterness and unforgiveness toward others and especially myself. I'm so sorry, Lord, for all the ways that I've fallen short and you've always loved me anyway, Lord. You've brought me here. I thank you for my healing. Thank you for softening my heart toward the people that hurt me. I thank you, Lord, for delivering me. In Jesus' name, all the rejection, I command all you rejection demons to be bound in the name of Jesus. Come up and out in Jesus' name. All the self-hate come out now in the name of Jesus. All fear and anxiety come out now in the name of Jesus. All that confusion come up and out now in the name of Jesus Christ. All confusion come out now. All the depression, all the heaviness. We command you to go in the name of Jesus. All the shame and humiliation, I command you to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out now, all those seducing spirits in the mind. Loose your hold and come on out. Come out of the mind, come out of the brain. All the mental illness, come out now in the name of Jesus. Come all the way out. All those manic demons, out in the name of Jesus. Come up and out, delusion out in the name of Jesus, all the delusion come up and out now, all witchcraft in the mind, loose your hold and come out, all witchcraft in the brain, come out now, all the brain fog, all the confusion, come out in Jesus' name, 
Come up and out now. All that witchcraft in the mind. Come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out now. Anxiety and fear. Loose your hold and come out. All that fear. Come out now. Fear of the future. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come all the way out. All that fear and anxiety. Loose your hold and come out now in Jesus' name. Come out anger and rage. Come out in Jesus' name. All the anger. Come out bitterness. We curse the root of that bitterness. Come out now in the name of Jesus. All bitterness. Come out now. All the anger and frustration. Out in the name of Jesus. All the self-hatred. Come out now in Jesus' mighty name. Self-hate. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out self-rejection. Out in the name of Jesus. Come all the way out. Self-rejection and self-hatred. Come out in Jesus' name. Come up and out. All the frustration and impatience. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come all the way out. Abandonment out in the name of Jesus. All the abandonment come out now. Abandonment from mom. Abandonment from dad out in the name of Jesus. All of that self-rejection and shame come out in the name of Jesus. All the lust and perversion come out in Jesus name. All the lust and perversion come out in the name of Jesus. Come out now. All that guilt come out in Jesus name. Fornication and adultery come out in the name of Jesus. Come all the way out. Come out now, confusion, come out now, come out now in the name of Jesus. All the brain fog, all the infirmities, come out in the name of Jesus. Come all the way out. All the brain fog, come out in Jesus' name. Come all the way out. Grief and sorrow, come out in Jesus' name. All grief and sorrow, come out now in the name of Jesus. Come out depression and heaviness, come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out now. All withdrawal and isolation, come out now in the name of Jesus withdrawal and isolation come out now in jesus name all the despair come out despair and anguish come out in the name of jesus christ come out now hopelessness come out in jesus name death and suicide come out now you spirit of death we command you to go now come up and out curse of premature death we break it off in the name of jesus come out premature death out in jesus name all the death all the infirmity all cancer, come out in the name of Jesus. All those cancer demons out now, loose and come all the way out. All the cancer, all the infirmity, all that generational cancer, come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come up and out. Come out autoimmune disorders. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. All the way out. Autoimmune, self-hate, self-bitterness, out in Jesus' name. Come out now in the name of Jesus. All the shame and condemnation, come out now. Shame and condemnation come out now in the name of, of Jesus Christ. Come out now in Jesus' name. All passivity come out in Jesus' name. All the passivity come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. All the indecision come out now in Jesus' name. Come out. All the indecision come out in the name of Jesus. Mental imprisonment come out in Jesus' name. All the mental imprisonment come out now. Come out self-pity out in the name of Jesus. All self-pity come out now. Loose and come out. All the self-pity come out now. All those false burdens. We break off every false burden in the name of Jesus. I'm so sorry, Lord, for trying to carry this on my own. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. All those false burdens come out in the name of Jesus. All the doubt and unbelief. Out in the name of Jesus. All that doubt and unbelief. Come out now. Fear of God's rejection. Come out in the name of Jesus. Fear of God's rejection. Fear of God's abandonment. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out. Strife and discord. Come out now in the name of Jesus. All strife and discord. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out complaining. Come out now. Murmuring. Come out now in the name of Jesus. Come out, all the murmuring and complaining. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out now. Loose and come out now. All the abuse and trauma. All that emotional trauma. Come out in the name of Jesus. All the emotional abuse. Come out now. All the emotional roller coaster rides. Out in the name of Jesus. All the sexual trauma and abuse. Come out now. All the sexual trauma. Come out in the name of Jesus. All the emotional abuse and trauma. Physical abuse and trauma come up and out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out rape and molestation out now. All the rape come out in the name of Jesus. Molestation come out sexual abuse out in the name of Jesus. All the molestation come all the way out. 
loose all that trauma from the molestation. I command you to come out all that fear that came in with that abuse out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come all the way out. Come out now. All the tormenting spirits in the mind come out. Mental torment, mental imprisonment out in the name of Jesus. All the tormenting spirits come out now. All the night stalkers come out. Nightmares out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come all the way up. Come out tormentors, come out night stalking spirits, come out now in the name of Jesus. All that fear, come out now. Nightmares, out in the name of Jesus, come all the way out. All the fantasy, come out now in Jesus' name. Fantasy demons, come out now in the name of Jesus. Altered reality, out in the name of Jesus. Lethargy, come out. All the lethargy and fatigue, all that demonic fatigue, out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out now, all that tiredness, weariness out in Jesus name, chronic fatigue out in the name of Jesus, chronic fatigue come out now, fibromyalgia demons come out now, autoimmune spirits come out now, autoimmune come out in the name of Jesus Christ, come out now, emotional blocks come out now, emotional blocks come out now in the name of Jesus, emotionally numb out in the name of Jesus Christ, come out now, jealousy and envy come out now, all the jealousy come out in the name of Jesus. Envy come out now in Jesus name. Distrust come out in the name of Jesus Christ. All the distrust come out now in Jesus name. Selfishness, self-centeredness out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come all the way up. Selfishness come out in Jesus name. Indifference come out now. Indifference come out in the name of Jesus. All the, all the escape spirits come out now. All the escape come out now in Jesus' name. Slumbering spirits come all the way up. All the slumbering spirits come out in the name of Jesus. If anybody needs something special, just drop it in the chat and I'll call it out, okay? All the infirmity out in the name of Jesus Christ. All infirmity come out now. All the insomnia come out in the name of Jesus. All the insomnia come out in Jesus' name. All the insomnia come all the way out. Come up and out now, sleep disorders, every demon attacking the sleep. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come all the way out. Come out now, all the gloom. Come out now in Jesus' name. Heaviness, come out in the name of Jesus. Burdens, off now in the name of Jesus. All the anxiety, come out. All the pain, come out in the name of Jesus Christ. All that demonic pain in the leg, out in the name of Jesus. Come out, infirmity demons. Come out now, all the pain. Come out, anxiety, come out in the name of Jesus. All the fear and anxiety, loose now, come all the way out. All the witchcraft, come out now. We break off all witchcraft, all the witchcraft control, witchcraft manipulation, out in the name of Jesus. Come out now. All the witchcraft, come out in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft from mom, out in Jesus' name. Loose now, come out in the name of Jesus. Kundalini, new age demons, come out now. Fake Holy Ghost, out in the name of Jesus. Kundalini spirit out in the name of Jesus Christ. We break off that Kundalini hold out of the brain right now. All that false Holy Spirit, all the false gifts out in the name of Jesus. Every counterfeiter out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out now. All the counterfeit, all the mind control out in the name of Jesus. Come out. Mind control, mind binding spirits out in Jesus name. All the mind binding come out now. Mind-binding demons, out now in the name of Jesus Christ. All the deceiving spirits in the brain, out in Jesus' name. All infirmity, come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Every infirmity demon, I command you to come up and out in the name of Jesus. Generational infirmities, come out now in the name of Jesus. Generational cancer, come out now. All cancer, out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come all the way out. All the cancer, Loose now and come out. All that bitterness, all the unforgiveness causing infirmity out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come all the way out in Jesus' name. Blame shifting out in the name of Jesus. All blame shifting come out in Jesus' name. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. All that blame shifting come out now. All the devouring spirits come out in the name of Jesus. All the distraction come out now. All distraction come out now. Stagnation. Every curse of stagnation, we break that off in the name of Jesus. All the stagnation and delay out in Jesus' name. All the stagnation come out in the name of Jesus Christ. All stagnation come out. Distractions out in the name of Jesus come all the way out. All the control and manipulation out in the name of Jesus Christ. All control and manipulation come out in Jesus' name. All the self-rejection 
all the rejection, all the fear of rejection, come out in the name of Jesus. Broken heart, come out now. Broken heart, come out in the name of Jesus. All the betrayal, come out now in Jesus' name. Betrayal, adultery, out in the name of Jesus. Come all the way out. Come up and out now in the name of Jesus. Broken heart, all that disappointment and discouragement, out in the name of Jesus. Come all the way out. All the discouragement, come out now. Disappointment, come out now in the name of Jesus. All the betrayal, come out now in Jesus' name. Come out double-minded, out in the name of Jesus. Double-mindedness, come out now. Double-minded, come out in Jesus' name. Doubt and unbelief, come out now. Doubt and unbelief in the name of Jesus, come out now. Come out in the name of Jesus. All the accusation, come out now. All the accusation, come out. Self-accusation, come out now. You accusing spirits in the brain, out in the name of Jesus Christ. All mental illness, loose and come up and out. All those seducing spirits in the mind, out in the name of Jesus. All deceiving spirits, all the religious spirits, come out. Religion, out in the name of Jesus. All those religious spirits, come out now. Catholicism, come out in the name of Jesus. Generational Catholicism, out in Jesus' name. All those Mormon demons, come out now. All the New Age, out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out now. Generational witchcraft, come out now in the name of Jesus. Come out now. All the night stalkers, come out now. All the fear attacking in the night, come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out nightmares, come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out now. Come out now in Jesus' name. Criticism, all those critical demons, all the nitpickers, out in the name of Jesus. Come up and out, all the nitpickers, come out now. All the offense, come out in the name of Jesus. All the offense, come out now. All offense, come out in the name of Jesus. Come out now, overly sensitive, come out in the name of Jesus. Overly sensitive, come all the way out. All the isolation and withdrawal, come out now in Jesus' name. Come out, fear of people, out in the name of Jesus. Fear of man, come out now. Fear of people, come out in the name of Jesus Christ, come all the way out. Fear of the future, fear of financial failure, out in the name of Jesus, come up and out now. Fear of the end times, come out in Jesus' name. Come out now in the name of Jesus. All those burdens, come out now. All those burdens from what's going on in the world, you come out in the name of Jesus. Come out doom and gloom demons, out in the name of Jesus Christ. Doom and gloom, impending doom, out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out negativity, out now. Doubt and, out and unbelief, out in the name of Jesus. Come out now. All that rejection and self-rejection out in the name of Jesus. Come up and out now. All the alcohol demons come out. Generational alcoholism. We break that curse of alcoholism in the family tree out in Jesus name. All the alcohol demons come out now. All the addiction come out now in the name of Jesus. All the nicotine out in Jesus name. Nicotine addiction, alcohol addiction, drug addiction out in the name of Jesus all the meth demons out in Jesus' name. Come up and out now. All the pot and marijuana come all the way up. All the marijuana spirits come out in the name of Jesus Christ. All the disappointment come out now. Disappointment come out now in the name of Jesus. Fear of poverty come out now. Fear of vulnerability come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear of vulnerability come out now. Fear of being rejected by others come out in the name of Jesus. Fear of others being disappointed in us come out in the name of Jesus. Fear of letting other people down out in the name of Jesus. People pleaser come up and out. People pleasing spirits out in the name of Jesus Christ. All that passivity out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come up and out now. Come up and out. Mind control demons come out now. All the mind control out in the name of Jesus. Come all the way out. All the worry, all the nervousness come out now. All stress come out in the name of Jesus. All the trauma, all the abuse, come out now. Victim spirit, come out now. Victim, come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Orphan spirit, come out now. Orphan spirit, come out now in the name of Jesus. Orphan, come out now. Rejection, out in the name of Jesus. All the abuse, come out now in Jesus' name. All the confusion, come out now. Come out self-pity, why me? Come out in the name of Jesus. All self-pity, come out now in Jesus' mighty name. 
self-pity come out now anger come out in the name of jesus anger at god come out in the name of jesus christ come out now in jesus name inadequate inadequacy come out now inferiority out in the name of jesus inferiority come out now in jesus name stubbornness come out now stubborn demons all the way out all that pride come out in the name of jesus pride arrogance come out now in the name of jesus christ all the gossip slander out in the name of jesus come out gossip come out in jesus name come out now in the name of jesus all the discord argumentative demons come out now argumentative spirits come out in the name of jesus come all the way out all the argumentative spirits come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come all the way up. All the divination come out now. All those tarot cards, Ouija boards, fortune telling out in Jesus name. All divination demons come all the way out. Up and out now in the name of Jesus Christ. All the occult spirits come out now. All the occult demons out in the name of Jesus. Murder come out now. Rage and anger come out now. Abortion come out in the name of Jesus. All the murder spirits out now. Hatred come out in the name of Jesus. All the way out. Murder come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Rage come out now. All the rage and murder come out in the name of Jesus. Come out now. All the witchcraft prayers. We break off every witchcraft prayer in Jesus' name. All those psychic prayers come out in the name of Jesus. Pentecostal witchcraft out in Jesus' name. Pentecostal witchcraft, charismatic witchcraft. We break it off right now. You come out. All that Pentecostal witchcraft, all the witchcraft prayers come out now. Prayers of manipulation and control out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come all the way out. Self-righteousness come out now. Paranoia out in the name of Jesus. All the mental illness come out now. Paranoid out in the name of Jesus. Double soul, double mind out in Jesus name. Come all the way out now. Insanity demons, come out now. All the insanity, come out in the name of Jesus. Come all the way out. Come out now in Jesus' name. Perfectionist, come out now. Perfectionist, come out in the name of Jesus. Come all the way out. Legalistic demons, come out in Jesus' name. All the legalism, come out in the name of Jesus. Come out, religious spirits, come out in Jesus' name. Come all the way out in the name of Jesus. Come out in Jesus' name. Loose and come out. All the mind binding, come out in the name of Jesus. All those mind binding spirits, come out in Jesus' name. Come Thank all you, the way out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we're just going to all take a moment and come in agreement for all the people that, that were affected by the hurricane, Lord. Lord, we just ask you to restore anything that was damaged, lost, broke. Lord, we ask you to restore their peace, Lord, the power, Lord, their strength, Lord. And, and Lord, we just ask for complete restoration on anything they lost, Lord. And we thank you for doing it, Lord. We pray for the people in the path of the other hurricane for safety, Lord. In Jesus' name. And right now, Lord, we just ask you to bless all those people, Lord. We we just pray that anybody that had their power off for days, Lord, we just pray that you restore it, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, lay your hands on your head, everybody. And let's go after the demons in the brain. You demons of mental illness, you come out of my brain right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Go right now. Come out of their brain right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Go right now. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of there. You come out of their brain right now in Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Go. Come out of there. Come out right now. Loose women, come out. Mental illness seducing demons fear demons you spirit of rejection you go right now in jesus mighty name loose them and come out go right now go right now in the mighty name of jesus come out of their brains right now witchcraft fear mental illness go religious demons go right now in jesus mighty name come out of them right now go right now loose their mind and come out go right now in jesus mighty name come out of there 
come out of the brain. Come out of the frontal lobe right now in Jesus' mighty name. Loose them and come out. Go right now. You come out of the mind demons. Go right now. We bind mental illness demons. And we command them to go right now in Jesus' mighty name. Loose them and come out. Go right now, you demons, telling them lies, giving them negative thoughts. We bind every lying demon, lying spirit. Go right now in Jesus' mighty name. Loose them and come out. Go right now, you lying spirits. Go. Come out right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of there. Seducing demons. Go right now in Jesus' mighty name. Every transfer, go, come out right now. Infirmities, cancer, go right now in Jesus' mighty name. Discouragement, frustration, anger, go right now. Rage, go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of them right now. Lord, we bless anyone that cursed us, Lord. Lord, we bless them. We command bitterness and witchcraft to go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose them and come out. Come out of Renita. Come out of Anne. Come out of Mary Lee. Go right now in Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Go. Come out of them right now. Come out of Yes, May. Go right now. Discouragement. Fear. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of there. Loose them and come out. Go right now, you spirit of rejection. Go. Come out right now. Come out of Patricia. All that infection, you go right now. Loose her and come out. All that infection, go right now. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of there. Looser and come out. Come out of Loretta. Go right now. Come out of Diana. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of there. Loose them and come out. Come out of Yesme. Go right now. Just drop in the chat what you need deliverance for and turn on your camera. We command these demons of rejection that are always telling us that we're rejected and no one loves us. We command them to come out of our bodies right now in the mighty name of Jesus. All the pain, go right now in Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of there. Pain in the leg, go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of there. Go right now. Come out of the leg. Witchcraft, infirmity, sin, you go right now in Jesus' mighty name. Go ahead and just tell the Lord you're, you're sorry for condemning yourself. I'm sorry, Lord, for condemning myself. She forgives herself, Lord. She really, yep, there you go, sweetie. Just release it. I, I forgive myself, Lord. I release, I release it. She releases all that shame and guilt, Lord. All that shame and guilt, you go, self-hatred, go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of there. Go right now. Self-hatred, you come out of it. Come out right now. Self-hatred, you go right now. Shame, <laughs> guilt, come out right now. Looser and come out of there. Go right now. She's not listening to your lies anymore. You go right now. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of there. Come out of her. Come out of Joyce right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of there. All that shame, guilt, you go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Go right now. Go right now. Self-hatred, condemnation, you go. Come out right now. Self-hatred, self-rejection, mental illness, you go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We command and we bind these cancer demons and every infirmity. We command them to go right now in Jesus' mighty name. Loose them and come out. Cancer and infirmity, you go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of there. All the infection, go right now. Loneliness, go. Abandonment. Fear. Hoarding things out of fear. Go right now in Jesus' mighty name. Loose them and come out. Come out of there, you fear demons. Go right now. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of there, you fear demons. Go. Anxiety and fear and worry. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of there. Loose them and come out. 
Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of there, devils. Go right now. Fear, anxiety, stress, rebellion. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of there. Come out right now, you devils. Go right now. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Kelly, are you there? Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hi. Hello, ladies. Keep continuing the fight. You guys are doing great. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for this deliverance, Lord. We just bless you, Lord. And we thank you, Father God, for blessing us, Lord, and giving us all authority to cast these devils out, Lord. I command every doubt and fear to come out of these women right now, come out of their minds, that deep-seated fear, deep-seated fear that plagues them on every situation in their lives, Lord. The way they talk, the way they eat, the way they do everything, Lord, they have this extreme fear, Father God. And I ask, Lord, that you release it. I ask, Lord, that you help them to get this demon out, Lord. Because fear is destructive. It will destroy your lives. Fear runs its cords through doubt, communication, self-rejection, self-hate, making decisions in your lives, poverty. Fear is a stronghold, and you need to get that out. Fear can cause eating disorders. Fear can cause mental illness. So command that fear to come out of your gut right now. That sickness that hides in your gut through fear. Command that spirit to come out of your body right now. Come out of their brains right now. All fear and doubt, unbelief, come out right now in the name of Jesus. I command this spirit to come out right now. That stronghold. Demons, you leave their minds right now. Go in their thoughts. Come out right now. Can't take hold of one thought. Come out right now. That is a horrible source like jennifer was talking thoughts are your worst enemy you have to take control of your thoughts or it will control you so you've got to command those racing thoughts of fear and anxiety death dumb spirits to come out right now in the name of jesus all anger and resentment over yourself, that self-hate, that self-loathing, procrastination, come out right now. Laziness, come out right now, being lazy. Come out right now, lazy with your deliverance, lazy with your time with the Lord, speaking with the Lord, receiving the Lord and his truth, doing what you want to do. Come out right now in the name of Jesus, being passive, being aggressive, being rebellious. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Go. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Go. Come out right now. Come out of that mind. Mental illness, bipolar demons. Come out right now. SMI, come out right now. In the name of Jesus. Go. Go right now. In the name of Jesus. Restore their minds, Lord. Restore their minds and their bodies, Father God. Heal them. Heal them, Lord. You can be healed at the same time that you get delivered. I've seen it. It's happened to me. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Go right now in the name of Jesus. I speak healing over their bodies right now, Lord. Healing through their whole bodies, Lord. Heal them, Father God. 
Heal them, Lord. Their sleep, lack of sleep, sleep paralysis. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Sleep paralysis, come out right now in the name of Jesus. Come out of their minds. That heaviness, oh, the heaviness in their minds, Lord. Heaviness on their minds of what's going on in the world, Lord. What's going on in the world, Father God. We pray for the world, Lord. We pray for the government. We pray for the, the people that have been affected in North Carolina, Lord, and Florida, Father God. Oh, gosh, Lord, the death. The death in this earth, Lord. We repent, Father God, for our sins, Father God. Help us, Lord. Redeem us, Father God. Restore us, Lord. Restore our bodies, Father God. Restore our minds, Father God. The weakness that plagues us, Father God, with sickness and infirmities and witchcraft, Father God. Trying to control who you are, Lord. Not waiting on you, Lord. And wanting you to move right now, Father God. Because your timing is perfect, Lord. Your timing is perfect, Father. Our ways are not your ways, Father God. Help us, Lord, with the word curses over ourselves, the thoughts that plague us about ourselves, the critical spirits, Lord. We criticize ourselves, Lord. Our thoughts are criticizing ourselves, Lord. That we don't look pretty enough or we don't look a certain way, Lord, or we're getting old. We're not fitting that mold of what the devil tries to put in our minds, Lord. Our destiny, our ministry, Lord. Our jealousy, Father God, of other people and their anointings, Lord. Not believing and trusting in you, Lord. Having thoughts of people that they don't like us, Lord. That people that talk about us, Lord. Those are all demonic thoughts. Demonic thoughts. We cast those down in the obedience of Christ. All mental illness, leave them right now. All those thoughts of suicide and depression come out right now in the name of Jesus. Not being good enough. Not being good enough. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. All the sarcasm and the sorrow and the hate. All the hate, Lord. The unforgiveness, Father God. Oh, Lord, forgive us, Lord, for not forgiving people that have hurt us. People that have stolen from us. People that have criticized us. That have hurt us. Talk behind our backs, Lord. We repent, Father God, for carrying this in our bodies with fear and letting fear run us, Lord. We repent, Lord, and we're so sorry, Father God. Help us, Lord. Help us in our minds, Lord. Help us in our minds. We want 100% of our minds. We don't want 10%. We want 100%. Our time is short. Deliverance is the end time ministry. We have to get delivered. We have to get healed. We have to work on the miracle list. The miracle list weakens the demons. You want the demons weakened. You have to fight. You fighting is going to help you to help other people because you will know what's inside people through discernment. You will discern the spirits that are in people because you discern the spirits that are in you. You know what moves in you. You know what to call out. You just have to believe and trust in God and listen to the Holy Spirit, not the demons, not those thoughts that criticize you on stupid things. Let all those stupid thoughts go right now. Crush them. Crush them. All those demonic thoughts go in the name of Jesus. I crush you in the name of Jesus. 
to the obedience of Christ, my weakness, so you can be glorified, Lord. We glorify you, Lord, in our weakness. We lay it at the foot of the cross. Oh, glory to God. The demons hate when we glorify the Lord. We glorify you, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for this deliverance. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Father God, in this midst of heartache, of heartache, Lord. Our broken hearts, Father God, mend our broken hearts, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us to get fully delivered, Lord, so we can serve you, Father God. Help us in our minds, Lord, to continue to glorify you, Lord, to war, to war, Lord. We don't want to be a carnal Christian. We don't want to be a gutless Christian. We want to be a disciple for you, Lord. We want a war for you, Father God. And we want to give you all glory and praise because that's what the devil hates. Because we love what you love, Lord. And we hate what God, what the devil hate, or we love what you love, Lord, and we hate what you hate, Lord, because we follow you, Lord. We don't follow the demons in our minds. Come out to all those spirits, all those mental tormentors. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Loose their minds. Loose the amygdala. Loose the back of the mind. Memory recall altered spirits leave them right now all that forgetfulness when you read the word of god you forget the word of god loose right now in the name of jesus that serpent spirit in that mind uncoil and untwist from that mind in the name of jesus you release them right now in the name of jesus come out of their bodies all that fear and doubt loose them right now in the name of jesus go Go right now, every kundalini spirit. Loose their spines, loose their hips right now in the name of Jesus. Come out of their minds right now. Come out of their necks right now. In the name of Jesus, loose their necks. Uncoil and untwist from the neck right now. All that stress, all that anxiety, poverty spirits. Loose them right now in the name of Jesus. All loveless spirits, go. All loveless spirits go in the name of Jesus. Loose unwantedness, feeling unwanted. Go right now. Go loose right now in the name of Jesus. Come out right now. All panic attacks, anxiety, PTSD. Go right now in the name of Jesus. PTSD. Go right now in the name of Jesus. You loose these women right now. Come out. So men chest come out, come out right now. The images right now come out of their chests, loose, come out of their throats right now, loose their throats right now in the name of Jesus. All crippling spirits, arthritis, come out of those hands. I speak healing over those hands right now. Arthritis, come out right now. Arthritis, come out, come out of those knuckles right now, come out. Come out of those hands, leg pain, anger, anger and rage and murder. Oh, you come out right now. Uncoil and untwist every crippling spirit. Murder in the family tree. Come out right now. I repent, Lord, for the murder in my family tree. The murder in my family tree and the anger and rage of murder come out right now stalking demons come out right now tormenting demons come out all that witchcraft come out right now sorcery hexes vexes hoodoo and voodoo loose them right now in the name of jesus all monitoring spirits monitoring your steps monitoring your feet go right now in the name of jesus go Go right now, every monitoring spirit, every owl spirit, animal spirits, go. 
Come out right now, every animal spirit that's monitoring you. Go right now in the name of Jesus. Go. Keep coming out. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. All that anger and rage, anger and hatred towards people. Go right now in the name of Jesus. Road rage. Road rage. When you get on the highway, the interstate, the roads, go right now. The devil sets you up with people. You curse people under your breath. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Go. Hatred towards people. Go right now. Hatred towards people. Jealousy towards people. Jealousy of people's anointing. Go right now in the name of Jesus. Go. Go. Hatred towards pastors. Infirmity. Anger towards pastors. Go. Addiction. Go. Oh, pharmacia demons, meth demons, marijuana demons, go, antidepressants, go right now, sleeping disorder, uh, melatonin, come out, I come out right now in the name of Jesus, go, headaches from melatonin, go right now in the name of Jesus, go, antidepressants, Loose their body, loose their minds right now. All that depression, ADHD, ADA, ADD demons. Go right now. Go. Being tossed around. Go. Trying to do this, trying to do that, trying to do this, trying to do that. Go right now in the name of Jesus. ADD demons, go right now. Go right now in the name of Jesus. Go procrastination go pain in the feet monitoring spirits come out of that feet come out of those feet right now come out of those feet right now all those infirmities infirmities of sickness from witches go right now religious spirits go religious spirits that monitor you go right now abuse physical abuse emotional abuse molestation go Go right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, ladies, let's fight. Go in the name of Jesus. Restore these women, Father God. Restore them, Lord. Restore their minds, Father God. Help them to fight, Lord, for their lives and their families. Help them to release their husbands and their adult children. Go release those adult children. Don't control those adult children. You let them go right now. In the name of Jesus, go. Thank you, Father God. I release my adult children. I cannot control that they're saved or not. I release them to you, Father God. I release them to you, my adult children. I let them go right now, Father God, I'm going to trust in you, Lord, because it only takes one to fight for the family, Lord. I will not control my children. I will not control my children. I hand them over to you, Lord. I'm so sorry, Lord, that I try to take. over to you. I have these burdens over to you, Father God. I don't want to control my children, Lord. I don't want to control my husband. I let it all go because control means I have a demon. That means I'm in putting myself before you, Lord. And I don't want to do that. I don't want a Jezebel spirit in me trying to control a man trying to control my children, I let them go right now and I lay them at the foot of the cross. Oh, I let them, I lay them down at the foot of the cross. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are worthy to be praised, Father God. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are the beginning and you are the end. You are the Alpha and you are the Omega. You sit at the right hand of the Father, Lord. You sit at the right hand of your Father, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord, for dying on the cross for my sins, Father God, that I lay it at the foot of the cross. All glory to you in my brokenness, Lord, because when I'm broken, you are strong. When I am weak, you are strong, Lord. When I am weak, you are strong, Father God. You move in my weakness, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's go into warnings. And I was warring in tongues. I went up to the altar and Mike had me go up at the front of the altar. And I stood there for an hour going back and forth as demons were leaving my body when I was speaking in tongues. You war in tongues. You let the devils know that you mean business. So start warring in tongues right now. Oh, I silence you demons in the name of Jesus. Robo shirabaka, rebe shiriribi ki robo ko, amakirabaka, rebe shirobo ko, amakirabaka, ebe shirobo ko, amakirabaka. Come on, ladies, speak it up. Let's go in the name of Jesus. Loose their tongues right now. Loose those tongues right now. We worship you, Father God. We worship you, Lord. And we thank you, Father God, for giving the gift of tongues, Lord. The gift of warring in tongues. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, what you're doing in our lives, Father God. We thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing in our lives and in our family's life, Father God. We come before you, Father God, and we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for delivering us, Lord. We thank you for healing us from arthritis, from mental illness, Lord. We thank you, Father God, because we give you all glory, all glory for healing us, Lord, and delivering us from demonic oppression, Lord. As we cast these devils out, Lord, and we thank you, Father God. Robo shirabaka, nemeshiroboko, rabashirabaka, robo shi, amakirabaka. Heal their bodies, Lord. Heal them from cancer, Father God, from female cancer, Lord. Cancer in the breast, arthritis, fibromyalgia, Lord. Heal their bodies, Lord. Heal their bones, Father God. Heal their veins, Lord. Heal their legs, Father God. Heal their legs, varicose veins. Go, I speak healing in the name of Jesus. Healing in their minds, Father God. Healing in their minds, all the trauma. All that trauma in their minds, Father God, that causes mental illness, Lord. Heal their minds, Father God. They want 100% of their minds, Lord. Thank you, Father God, for healing their families, Lord. We speak that into being right now, Lord. We speak that and we believe it, Father God, without no doubt. No doubt, don't doubt. Believe that you're being healed. Restore them, Lord. Restoration, Lord. Restoration in their families. Restoration in their husbands, Lord. Restoration in their bodies, Lord, in their minds, Father God. Remove the scales from their eyes, Father God. Hallelujah. As you're healing their minds, cataracts. Come out of their eyes right now, cataracts. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. All that witchcraft, come out right now. 
hoodoo and voodoo come out right now i speak healing right now in their minds father god healing in their minds right now in the name of jesus go go procrastination go demonic oppression go come out of their minds right now all demonic oppression go every demonic spirit that's in their homes leave right now leave their homes right now in the name of jesus leave their homes in the name of Jesus, call it out. Call them out of your homes right now. You have the authority in your home and in our, on your property. Command those spirits to leave right now. Go in the name of Jesus. Leave their property right now. Leave their vehicles. Leave right now. Their families leave now. In the name of Jesus. Robo shirabaka. In the name of Jesus, you leave right now. You leave right now. You leave these women right now. Every lost spirit, go. In the name of Jesus, every spiritual spouse, go right now. In the name of Jesus, leave them right now. In the name of Jesus, every sexual perversion spirit, go molestation, rape, date rape, go right now, being bullied, go in the name of Jesus, being bullied by men, go right now in the name of Jesus, being bullied, being uh, word cursed by men, come out right now in the name of Jesus, I forgive the man that hurt me, I forgive the men, the women that have hurt me, in the name of Jesus, I release them right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I let him go. All headaches, go. All cloudiness, go. Cloudiness in the mind, come out right now. In the name of Jesus, all that cloudiness, come out right now. Come out of that mind right now. Loose that mind right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for delivering these women. Come out of their pets. Every demonic spirit, you come out of their pets right now. In the name of Jesus, come out of their dogs. Come out of their cats. Any pets that they have, come out right now. In the name of Jesus, go. Go right now. Any attacks on your pets, leave right now. Any sickness that's in your pets, go right now. Come out. Come out right now. Go. Every demonic source that's in your pets, come out right now. Go, go right now. Keep coming out right now. In the name of Jesus, go. Barking, barking at things that are not there or things that are there. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Go. Any fear that's in your animals, go right now. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Go. Go, go, come out of your cat. Come out, come out of your cat right now. In the name of Jesus, loose right now. Every monitoring spirit, go. Go, every monitoring spirit in your animals. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Go, go, go. Way to go, Ellen. You keep fighting. Way to go, girl. Go, go, keep going. All that witchcraft, inherited witchcraft, go. In the name of Jesus, go. Come out right, right now. Come out of our hands right now. Every lust spirit, go. Come out right now. Masturbation, come out right now. In the name of Jesus, go. Hoodoo and voodoo, go right now. In the name of Jesus, come out. Go, go. In the name of Jesus, come out. Go, go. In the name of Jesus, go, go, go. Come on, keep coming out. All that lust, come out right now. Go, emotional abuse, go. Come out right now. In the name of Jesus, all that hoodoo and voodoo, go. In the name of Jesus, go, go right now. What's the word for Indians? I can't pinpoint it. Write it in the chat. I see those spirits. Come out right now. 
Indian, come out right now. Go, go right now. Go in the name of Jesus. Go, keep coming out. Go in the name of Jesus. Go, go. keep coming out right now. Go, go. All dizziness, go in the name of Jesus. Chippewa, come out right there. You go, Chippewa, come out right now in the name of Jesus. Go, Chippewa, come out right now. Go in the name of Jesus. Go, go in the name of Jesus. Go, all that Indian Navajo, yes, Navajo. Go, Navajo, Coyote, go right now, Coyote. Go right now, Coyote and Coyote, go in the name of Jesus, Navajo, Navajo spirits, go in the name of Jesus, go worshiping the mountains, go worshiping the air, spirit of air, go right now in the name of Jesus, spirit of air, go right now, all that mental illness, go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, go, Navajo spirits, Chippewa spirits, go, go, coyote demons, coyote demons, animal spirits, go, in the name of Jesus, idol worship, Hopi, come out right now, Hopi, come out right now, in the name of Jesus, go, Hopi spirits, come out right now, in the name of Jesus, Loose them right now in the name of Jesus. Go. Come out, out right now. Hopi spirits. Go. Go. Loose them right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ooh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath, and I'm going to count to three. Take a deep breath. Go oh, in the name of Jesus. Keep take that deep one, two, three. Loose them right now in the name of Jesus. Loose them. Come out right now. Go, go right now in the name of Jesus. Go. Come out of their breath. That spirit of air. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Go. Uproot yourself. Uproot yourself right now. I put an axe to those roots. I put an axe to those roots. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Robo Shirabaka, Robo Shirabaka. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Father God. We bless you, Lord, and we thank you, Father God. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We thank, just start worshiping the Lord. Tell him thank you. He, he yearns for our praises. He loves our praises. There's nothing more that moves God when we praise him. When we thank you, we thank you, Father God, for all that you do for us, Father God. We worship you, Father God, and we thank you, Father God. The burdens are heavy, Father God. Break the yoke, Lord. Break that heavy yoke that is on these women, Lord. Help them, Father God. I call out to you, Father God, in the midst of their brokenness, Father God, this heaviness that plagues us, Father God. We just thank you, Father God, for lifting these burdens, Father God. These burdens that are so heavy, Father God, that weighs us down. We just thank you, Father God, for what you're doing in our lives, Lord. We just thank you, Father God, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for all that you do in our lives, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. Thank you, Father God. We glorify you, Father God, and we just praise you, Father God. We praise you, Father God, for what you're doing in our lives and you're doing in our families' lives and you're doing in our ministry, Father God. The days are short, Father God. Call out, Father God, we're ready, Father God, to do your work, Father God. The work that you've called us to do, Father God, give us the strength to endure these end days, Father God, Lord. Help us in our mental state, Father God. 
Help us, Lord, in our mental state, Lord, to be clear, Father God, that we want to get off the boat just like Peter did, and we want to keep our eyes on you, Lord. We want to walk on water, Lord, and look to you, Lord. We don't want to look to the left. We don't want to look to the right. We don't want to look in the back like Lot's wife did and turn into a pillar of salt, oh, Father God, because our hearts are not in the world, Lord. Our hearts are, our eyes are focused on you, Lord. Those stone, our hearts, turn our hearts into a heart of flesh, Lord. Help us to worship you, Lord. Give us that, Lord, as we cry out to you, Father God. We cry out to you, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, in our weakness so we can be strong in you, Lord. We crucify this flesh, Lord. We crucify this flesh, Lord. We want to share in Christ's sufferings, Lord. We want to fight. We want to fight. We want to do what you called us to do, Lord. Help us, Lord, to do that, Lord. Help us, Father God. Give us the strength. Give them the strength, Lord. Give them the anointing is there. Use it. Use it. Do it what God has called you to do. Stay in his word. Stay in his word and fellowship with him. Build your foundation in him. Build your foundation in him. Oh, hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father God. Peace, Lord. Peace and joy, Lord. Fill us up, Lord, with your healing power, Lord. Your healing, Lord. Your healing, Lord, throughout our bodies, Lord, and our minds, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, Father. Oh, Boshira Baka. Amashiro Boko. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this day, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for this deliverance, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for Julie. Thank you for Jen. Thank you for Stephanie. Thank you for the steps of freedom, Lord. The steps that we take to freedom, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for the freedom in our steps, Lord, towards you, Lord. Thank you, Father God, for all you're doing in our lives, Father God, that you continue to do in our lives, Lord. We just worship you, Lord. We worship you, Father God. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. We worship you, Lord. And we thank you, Father God, for what you're doing in our lives, Father God. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. I pray for these women in their week, Lord. Bless them, Father God, and help them, Lord, to continue to fight this war, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all you're doing in our lives, Father God. And I thank you for what you're doing in my life, Father God. Oh, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father God, for calling me out, Father God, in that mental illness that I had, Lord. When I was in a mental hospital, Father God. And I was alone, Lord. You called me out, Father God. That sickness that I had, anorexia nervosocia, that they diagnosed me, Father God, with, with extreme fear that my brain just stopped working, Father God. I couldn't eat no more, Lord, because I just shut down, Lord. And you healed me, Father God. You healed me, Lord. And you're going to heal these women, Lord, because I know it, Father God, because you did it for me, Lord. And I just thank you, Father God, and I glorify you, Father God, that you took that depression away from me, Father God, that you healed me, Father God. And I just thank you, Lord, and I thank you for what you're already doing in these women's life, Father God. Hallelujah, Lord. 
I just thank you, Father God, for all you're doing, Lord, because it is written, Lord. It is written, Father God, by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony, Father God, because you get the glory, Father God. You get all glory, Father God. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit, for being on this call tonight and helping us. Thank you. Thank you, Father God. Amen. All right. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Father God. You keep believing and trusting in the Lord. And when you're weak, you start raising your hands to the Lord. And you start worshiping him because the devil hates it. He hates when you worship the Lord. He hates it. And you continue that good fight of faith. And thank you for staying on the call. And thank you for trusting us and trusting me to help you in your deliverance. I love you. And most importantly, the, lo the Lord loves you. He loves you so much, so much. He's called you out. He went looking for you and you're here. And you continue to believe and trust in him. And don't doubt in your healing and your deliverance. Hallelujah. I love you, ladies. And you have a blessed night and a blessed week. And I will see you Monday. Glory to God. Good night.